Brook is well known in our industry for their corrugated stainless steel pipes uh, used for particularly demanding applications. And here at the PEI booth we've um, discovered a completely new product which is actually very interesting and very promising as well, which is an LNG pipe. Um, LNG is obviously a very important topic um, in the US and in many parts of the world. I'm talking to Kelly Krellin who is the president of Brook Pipe Systems in the US. Kelly, can you tell me a little bit more about the LNG market and how it is developing? I would love to. Uh, the LNG market, as we all know, is liquefied natural gas, is the result of the reserve discoveries in America in recent years uh, of natural gas, which we contain or have the access to more natural gas than anywhere else in the world. So as a fuel source, uh, we've used natural gas for years, but the ability to take the volume that we have and liquefy that gas as an energy source and then use that liquefied gas in the transport industry, whether it be in ships, uh, trains, or large uh, motor vehicles on the road, it creates an opportunity for us here in America and elsewhere in the world to uh, wean ourselves off of the oil reserves and use a much cleaner energy source that we have here at home and we're in the uh, process of developing products that support that new energy source. And Kelly, what are the specific requirements that an LNG pipe has to meet then? Well the most unique aspect of LNG is the temperature at which it must maintain to remain liquefied. That temperature in Fahrenheit is minus 260 degrees. So you can imagine the most difficult aspect of transporting or maintaining this gas in a liquefied state is keeping it cold. That means insulation factors in tanks and in delivery systems that are insulated to the point where they can allow that liquid to remain in its liquid state as long as possible. And how does your innovation compare to other products that are already in the market? Well, Brug's background and expertise uh, over many years with stainless steel corrugated piping has allowed us to in involve ourselves in engineering developments related to this. We've worked in the cryogenic industry in Europe for many years. That deals with extremely cold temperatures. So as the development of LNG has become more common, we've been able to transfer our knowledge and expertise using our pipe for cryogenics into the use of a carrier pipe for LNG use. Mm -hmm. uh, I will demonstrate and show you a couple of the examples of our pipe product as we have created two versions of this pipe, which are unique in the industry, uh, unique to brew, both utilizing our stainless steel corrugation, which gives the pipe a level of flexibility which is not found uh, in the other pipe products which support the LNG uh, transfer of product. So our first product is a vacuum insulated pipe, as the vacuum aspect of LNG is the most critical uh, component of the distribution of LNG product. We utilize a multi-layered uh, pipe system which uses our corrugated stainless steel pipe as the carrier pipe here in this second layer. The return line, which they call the boil-off gas line, is also integrated into the same pipe through this primary pipe and that is returned back to the storage tank for compression and cooling again. Uh, this pipe also incorporates uh, some high-tech uh, uh, materials for insulation as well as the space here where we create the vacuum before that pipe is sealed and installed. Obviously the vacuum version of this pipe is the most efficient known way of maintaining the cold temperatures required to keep LNG in a liquefied state which is minus 260 degrees. However, Brug didn't stop there. We also developed a second version which utilizes our polyurethane foam insulation. Although slightly less efficient as an insulator, over the short runs which are required for LNG distribution, we utilize the same primary pipe here, the same secondary pipe for the delivery of the fuel, but the polyurethane foam insulation allows us at a lower cost to provide the same high level of quality and maintenance of cold temperatures for the customer at a much more uh, attractive cost per foot. So the benefit with this pipe is it is less costly, although slightly less efficient, but to the end user the difference is negligible. In this product here, you offer the highest possible ability for 
uh, insulation compatibility and duration of the LNG, uh, thereby giving the customer the choice of theirs, whether they want to go with a PUR insulation foam or a vacuum foam. Brug offers both. Another innovative feature of this Brug LNG pipe is the way in which we deliver the LNG from the storage tank to the dispenser. And that is we have reversed our delivery process with our double wall tank. And that is we deliver the liquefied natural gas through the outer layer of pipe to the dispenser. That return gas that has warmed up and normally is at a much warmer temperature requiring it to be recooled at a cost of energy and time, we are now bringing that warmed up gas through the inner pipe and because it is surrounded by that liquefied natural gas at minus 260 degrees, it acts as a natural refrigerant. So the return gas is kept at a much cooler temperature, thereby making it easier and less costly to reliquify that gas back in the storage terminal. Um, what do you think, how will this product develop in the next, in the coming years? We have been successful at having the first field test of our pipe here in the United States earlier this year. Uh, the test results were beyond our expectations. Uh, the customer was extremely pleased with the results and at this point we are looking at several major oil company applications uh, throughout the U.S. and carrying this product worldwide because of the results of our early testing here in the United States. It sounds very promising. Good luck with that and thank, thank you, you very much. much. It's my pleasure.